players in RuneScape are always looking for easy ways to make money. So, this is the video that I'm going to make talking about the easy bosses right now in game that actually do make a good amount of money. However, keep in mind you higher level players that are making ridiculous amounts of money of 50 to 100 million GP per hour and beyond, this probably isn't necessarily for you. This video is more for the players that are just starting to get into PVM. Whether you're a higher level player or a mid-level player, player but you're starting to kill bosses this is the video for you finally before we do get started 53.5 percent of you guys watching are not currently subscribed so check that you are subscribed to the channel and other than that let's go to start the video out, I just wanted to put on screen a few gear setups, one for each combat style as a recommendation for around about the gear level you would expect to be to actually make profit out of these bosses. Now you could definitely do them in a little bit less and of course you can do it in more, but these gear setups are just something that I'd say for the average player, this is where you'll probably start to find that sweet spot of where you should be gear wise. Now guys, the last time I showed this, everybody was like, oh yeah, just get tier 90 range gear. Guys, this set's like 12 mil right now. Now, okay it's cheaper than all the other ones relax it's okay it's cheap it's i know it's tier 90 range gear it's cheap okay this is a cheaper alternative to getting armored llama so keep that in mind that being said as long as your gear is close to this or better than this or is this specifically you'll be absolutely fine okay let's talk about the bosses Boss number one is probably the one that you guys didn't expect to be on here because I'm sure many of you are probably thinking, I know what's going to be on this list. This one, not so much. The Mimic, the Giant Mimic, is a boss that is always really good money for beginners as long as it's not been covered by a YouTuber recently. Oh wait, rip. It is one of those. Guys, listen, this boss is going to be great money as of me making this video right now. And in a little while, if the tokens do go up in price because of this video, they will settle back down. They always do. That being said, I made a loot video on this boss probably around about eight months ago now. At that point in time, killing this boss on the beginner mode, the easiest option that you can get, was around about... 15 million GP per hour. However, since then, the items that you are hunting for, which is these scrimshaws, have actually gone up in price. Granted, one of the two scrimshaws has actually gone down by about 100k each, but it's not a big deal because the other one has gone up by 1.6 million GP. These were 1.5 mil the last time I did this. They are now 3.1 million GP. That is absolutely insane and this boss is going to be great money as of right now now to fight this boss you need to have a mimic kill token the best way to get this is to buy it on the grand exchange okay so the prices will go up please do check the prices of these before you go ahead and do it as of right now the token is around about 50,000 gp this is a little higher than it would have been in the past but it is still absolutely worth it especially considering the price of the scrimshaws right now are more than what they would have been then however if the price of these goes up by too much more you don't want to be doing it just yet as it'll just be cutting into your profits just a little bit too much so keep an eye on this and once that price does stay at a nice around about 50,000 to 60,000 gp or less then you're absolutely golden to make a good amount of money from here. Don't get me wrong, if the price does go higher, you can still profit from this. It'll just be more around about 10 million GP an hour. But as of right now, going off of the loot that I got from the 500 kills I did in the past video, you can expect to make around about 20 million GP per hour here, killing the easiest version of the boss. You will very, very rarely see any mechanics during this. All you want to do is the second that the boss drops from the ceiling, just kill it as fast as you can with a threshold and, and a basic. Basically, it's really, really easy. And then as soon as it's done, just head back to the door, reset the room, pick up your loot chest and stack them up and continue on going. This boss is really easy to do at this level. And once you've collected all of your small loot chests up, open them up, get your scrimshaws out and go and sell them on the Grand Exchange for a really good profit. Some other benefits for killing this boss as well, such as the Slayer VIP tokens, which when getting a Slayer task will actually give you a choice between two assignments rather than the Slayer Master just saying, hey, this is your task, go get it. So these are actually very, very much worth the time and coming here as well. So not only are you making a good solid amount of money per hour, you are also getting the Slayer VIP tickets. It's worth noting that Iron Man will not get the Scrimshaw of Sacrifice from here, so keep that in mind. Moving on, we return to my good old favorite boss, Karapak. Now, 
Carrot pack, of course, in normal mode for this because we're not going to be talking about hard mode when this is meant to be easier bosses. Now, carrot pack in normal mode is a fairly easy boss to get used to, but it isn't one of the easiest bosses in the entire game. But with the gear that I showed you on screen, you really shouldn't struggle too much with this with a little bit of practice. That being said, this is a fairly easy boss in normal mode, and it is definitely very profitable as well. Now, according to the PVME Discord, which I will link in the description, as I always do when there is information being used from there, thank you very much. According to the PVME, Carapac, the total loot that you would expect to get per kill from normal mode is around about 1 million GP. This is including the chance of getting a rare per kill as well, but in just commons, you're still looking at 838k or just around about 800k and just over per kill at Carapac in normal mode. This is insanely good considering this boss isn't that difficult to kill and only takes a few minutes with the recommended gear that you've seen on screen and with a little bit of practice. Now, of course, the faster you clear this boss, the more money you're going to be making. And depending on your combat style, you'll probably be spending a little bit more money here and there on supplies and getting through quicker. Now, I'd say for a person getting into pvm with a little bit of practice once you've been here for you know a few kills and got used to how it works you could probably expect to get around 20 kills per hour you could definitely get more don't get me wrong there's many people listening right now going 20 kills what you could do way more than that you can but you need to remember this is for the lower level players the people just starting out in pvm you may get a little bit less when you start but 20 kills per hour is definitely a target that you can reach so you can expect around about 15 to 20 million gp in profit once you kill this boss and take away any supplies and stuff each hour now once you improve that, obviously it goes up. That being said, you also have the chance of getting a greater concentrated blast codex. As of right now, this codex is still price checking at around about 115 million GP, which is absolutely insane. Now, keep in mind that yes, 115 mil doesn't go that far these days, but for somebody who is using Ganodermic, somebody who's using tier 85s, somebody who's using gear setups that are around about 50 to 100 million GP themselves anyway, this is a huge upgrade and you will definitely get a lot out of it. So Carapac in normal mode is definitely a boss that I would suggest learning. And while it is a fairly easy boss, it will take a little bit of learning, especially the last phase where you're taking a good amount of damage. But if you are using magic and animate dead and stuff, you probably you probably be absolutely fine. Next up, I'm just going to throw a quick mention to the bosses that probably doesn't surprise you that much. That'll be things like Vindicta, Hellweir, God Wars Dungeon 1 with Kriara. These bosses are always going to be pretty decent GP and very, very easy in comparison to other ones. Hellweir and Vindicta have a little bit more mechanics than Kriara, of course, so you can't really put them in the same boat, but I'm going to just for the sake of saving time in the video. I don't want to go too in depth into these, but basically Kriara has the Armadale Armor, which will always be valuable because of the perks and the components from it. Vindicta and Hellweir have their uniques which are definitely worth hunting for but they also have some okay regular drops as well but it's definitely the rares you're going to be going for at these bosses you are going to be looking for the dragon rider lance and the crest of zaros from vindicta and from Hellway, you'll be looking for the elder wand and the elder orb and the crest of seren from there as well again these drops will be held at value because of the fact that they are good for components and good for making perks and stuff so the price of these won't change so i wouldn't expect them to at least so if you are looking for some other bosses to kill these are definitely things to consider and they're, they're definitely good. The only downside I see to Vindicta and to Hellweir is that you kind of want to build up your reputation to these bosses before using them as an actual money making method, I suppose. It's still good to do in the first place, but getting your reputation at these bosses increases your drop chance of rares, so it's definitely something that you do want to work on. Moving on to our final boss, there's a fair bit of information to cover here. We're going to be talking about the Arc Glacier. Now, the Arc Glacier is a boss that you can do almost at any level of PVM once you've got an entry level gear set up because you can toggle the mechanics on and off. If you wanted to, you could kill this boss with absolutely no mechanics, but it does come at a cost to your profit per hour. That being said, it is still kind of okay to kill this boss with zero mechanics or one mechanic or two mechanics and AFK the boss and make a decent amount of money for an AFK boss. Totally AFK this boss you can probably still expect between about five to seven million gp per hour which is pretty decent for afking a boss it's really not that bad afking the arglacer also offers a decent way to get some charms together so it is definitely something to consider however i am more talking about doing this boss in the five mechanics complete normal mode version of this boss because it's going to offer you the option of getting the unique drops from here now, the unique drops from here are actually pretty decent. In normal mode at the Arc Glacier, you do have two rare drops that you're going to be wanting to go for. This is the Leng Artifact, 
and the scripture of when. The scripture of when, as of right now, is price checking at around about 78 mil ish, around about this, between 70 and 80 mil for the last month, so around about that price. The Leng artifact is actually worth around about 50 million GP itself as well. This is because you use the Leng artifact to combine with Nightmare Gauntlets, Carapace Wrist Wraps, or Gloves of Passage to create the enhanced versions of these. So, you could grab yourself the Carapace Wrist Wraps off of the Grand Exchange for a lovely, like, one and a half million GP, and then sell that on for over 50 million GP, meaning you make a good chunk of profit. Now, you will have to check the pricing of these because the, they will change and the other gloves may be better than the Carapat Wrist Wraps, but the thing is the Carapat Wrist Wraps have a very, very low cost to actually start out. So unless you have like 30 million or 50 million GP sitting around, this might be the better option. So those are the two drops that you would be chasing here to get yourself a good amount of profit, right? However, killing the Arglaser itself too, does offer some pretty good rewards. Of course, if you have the upgraded ring from the quest line, you are going to get yourself the troves from here as well. Having access to the tier three troves will give you the option of getting the Pernix Quiver Fragments as well, which tend to always sit around 1 million GP each as well. If you are going purely on commons from this boss from killing it for a full hour, you probably are only looking around about 10 million GP. It's not going to be a ton, it's really not. But the point of the Art Glacier in normal mode is to chase after those drops. Getting the Wen and the Leng Artifact, they are definitely going to make a big boost to this. However, personally, I do think the Art Glacier in normal mode is easier to kill and less punishing and has less requirements to kill compared to Carapac normal mode. So that's why I've included this as the final boss on this list, because I, with a little bit of practice on the mechanics, you'll have to get used to using like your defensives for devotion when the cannon comes or resonance or something like that. Uh, you'll have to get used to dodging the ice pillars, but they're not that punishing in normal mode and a few other things as well, dealing with the summons when they spawn and stuff. But you'll pick this up pretty quick. There'll be guides to all of these bosses in the description, by the way. So if you need them, do check those out. But with a bit of practice, you will find this much easier than Carapac normal mode, at least I would assume so. Another reason I've included this is the Art Glacier is really, really good at teaching PVM. It does a great job of teaching you different mechanics, such as prayer flicking, such as using your defensive, such as positioning. All these sort of things are very important later on when you are going to be fighting other bosses. So I would absolutely suggest practicing the Art Glacier for most people that are learning PVM. So I suppose you're getting more value than just coins from this. You're going to be getting a decent amount of money, absolutely but you're also going to be taking away good practice and good PVM experience as well for future bosses. That brings us to the end of this video. Hopefully you found it useful and hopefully it'll give you an idea of which bosses you may want to go out and kill to make yourself a little bit of profit while doing so. Keep in mind that if you are learning PVM, you may not reach the actual profit margins mentioned in this video because obviously you just need to practice a little bit, get the kill rates up a little bit and you will definitely get there. Watch guides on how to kill the bosses, watch some tips videos on how to improve PVM, all this sort of stuff, and you will definitely see the improvement over time. As mentioned earlier, I will link boss guides in the description for all of the bosses mentioned, so that if you do feel like you need them, you can take advantage of that and learn just how to deal with them a little bit easier. That being said, thank you all so, so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. And finally, channel members and patron subscribers, thank you all so much for supporting the channel that bit extra. I It, it helps out in absolute tons. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And for anybody wondering, you can get some benefits from becoming a channel member or a patron. Channel members get early access to videos. They tend to be unlisted for a while before I actually post them live on YouTube. You also get the emotes and stuff during streams. As for patrons, you will get Patreon-only content, which is over there. So check out the link, you a dollar over there and support that. And then you also get access to the videos that are there purely for patrons. Other than that, thank you all so, so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. And I'll catch you all in the next one. See you later, guys. Bye.